I really need an intro. Anyway, yeah. Today we're gonna do a little twist on chicken pot pie. The filling can be anything that you normally make if you make chicken pot pie, you know, it could be anything. I'm just doing a basic filling. I just wanna show a little twist of something fun you can do with chicken pot pie that your kids might like and even you might like. First, you're gonna heat up some butter, about a half a stick of butter you're gonna heat up. Now you're gonna add four tablespoons of flour because you're making a roux for your uh, sauce because it'll make your, your sauce for your pot pie thick. You let that cook a little bit for about a minute or so. You're gonna add about a couple of cups of chicken stock. And you're going to see this thicken up. You're going to add a little salt, maybe about like a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of salt. Let's put in a little pepper. I pre-cooked about four chicken breasts and I cubed them up. And we're going to add those. And we're going to add a package of frozen vegetables. You can use any combination that you like. Like I said, this is a basic filling. Let's add a half a cup of milk. Okay. You see how that is? That's just a basic chicken pot pie filling. I did an easy version. You can do your own if you want to use fresh vegetables. Anything you want to put in it is fine. But this is just a basic recipe. Let it cook for about 10 minutes, and then you're going to put it to the side to cool off a bit. Here's the twist. We're going to use biscuits. Instead of using, you know, pie crust and everything, we're going to do this with biscuits and a muffin tin. And we're going to make little pot pies. Just check this out. Put some flour on your counter. And since these biscuits are the small ones, what would work really well with this are the grands, you know, the biscuits that are really big. But since they're small, I'll just make two and then You'll see. See, Doe hates me. <laughs> Doe <laughs> absolutely hates me. Every time I work with Doe, it's a problem. But I'm going to conquer it eventually. I am going to conquer it. I promise. See, look, I rip it. I tear it. It hates me. But look, see, and then we take these double biscuits. We'll take a spoonful of the filling. and then just cover it up. This is it. After you're done making them, just pop them in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes depending on your oven. Okay, keep an eye on them because some ovens are hotter and some ovens are cooler, but these are gonna be so cute. Look how cute this is. Is this not the cutest thing ever? And you can make like a bunch of them and put them in the freezer and then heat them up later for the kids. I think they're adorable. I really do. And they're just like fun to make. I really enjoyed making it. Oh, it's mad hot. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, look at the steam coming out of it. I know, but look how pretty that is. Oh my God, I'm dying to try it. I'm going to burn my mouth for sure. For sure, I'm going to burn my mouth. But look how nice that is. And you know what? It's like a nice little appetizer or just like you serve a couple of these with some rice or a salad it's just cute i love it i love it love it love it mm. i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it okay i'm gonna risk my tongue and try this because it's really hot i still see the steam coming i know me too okay wait <laughs> I'm afraid of it. I'm afraid. It's so hot. See what I do for you people? I'm willing to burn my tongue for you people. Oh, I am. I'm starving. I'm always starving. Oh. No, that's good. No, it's good. Oh, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Love it. I hope you try it. It's so cute. So much fun to make. You can even get the kids to help you make them. Please try this. You're going to love it. I'm willing to burn my tongue for you people.